What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 Forsaken News Leak video. Warning guys, spoilers ahead and if you want to go into the DLC super clean, then leave now. Okay, so today we have news on the Blind World, the Dreaming City's EP activity, the Prison of Elders armor set and where it's obtained, details on the way the Dreaming City changes, the Taken spell and the quest behind it, new exotics as well as new exotic catalysts and much, much more people. But hey guys, if you would like to support me and the channel, hitting that like button truly helps me out and I do appreciate that support. And if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe for the latest D2 videos. Forsaken's around the corner, guys. And I'm gonna be on it like a car bunny. Also, stay tuned until the end, people, to find out about my monthly controller giveaway. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with the Prison of Elders armor set. Now, we have seen this from plenty of trailers on this DLC. The Prison of Elders armor will return, or armor that looks exactly like it. This has led many to believe that the actual Prison of Elders activity will be returning also, but this is not the case. According to a new recent data mine, the Prison of Elders gear will be be a strike exclusive gear set here is a good part we do indeed return to the prison of elders within this strike the strike is called the hollowed layer the strike seems to have according to these data mines this prison of elders gear attached to this strike as specific loot now that is what we are talking about people if this is true this is something we have wanted strikes to be since day one d1 Strike exclusive gear, I mean yeah for sure the gear is old from a previous title but it's a start for multiple reasons on grinding the same strike rather than just for one single item. This I like and hopefully Bungie incorporate more of the same into other and future strikes. More reasons to farm that same strike. So yes guys the Prison of Elders gear will return but it's obtained from the hollowed layer strike as exclusive strike gear. Now one begs the question of, while the Queen Breaker's Bolt has also been data mined, it will return my fellow sexy bastards but where will this exotic be tied to i was thinking maybe this strike but i think that would probably be a little too much maybe one of the other two strikes not including the ps exclusive maybe we will see people okay so we are going to move on and onto the blind well the blind well we have seen minute for each other within the forsaken trailers what we saw did indeed look cool but info on this is a little scarce today i have you guys covered the blind well is considered the escalation protocol of the dreaming city it's this kind of activity. Within this activity, you are tasked to clear 10 waves of enemies. Now, it isn't clear if the waves are like the EPs just yet. We will be fighting off enemies and bosses in random sequences, much like the EP though. From wave 6 to 9, we will be defending a statue, which I believe we've seen within the trailer. Wave 10 will be a boss fight, which will be a different boss each week. Upon defeating this boss, there will be a chance of exclusive armor to drop and three new exotic catalysts. These are catalysts at the moment, we don't know what they are. Here is me hoping they ain't the faction rally catalysts, but catalysts for new exotics. Time will tell people, time will tell. So the Blind Well will indeed be the new EP of the Dreaming City, sounds pretty damn cool to me. I can also confirm people that the dungeon, whatever this place is, is not the Blind Well. The other day I posted a massive leak on plenty of new Forsaken things, the dungeon was mentioned and even I thought then it could indeed be the Blind Well of the Dreaming City, but within the data mine files there are separate activities as such. So the dungeon is not the blind well. Okay, so let's move on. And the Dreaming City itself, this place looks not only amazing, but it looks full of surprises and hidden things to do and find. Now, according to the Game Informer a while back, the Dreaming City changes each week. And according to this leak, what they meant is that the Taken Corruption levels will rise one time per week. There are three levels of Taken Corruption that affect the whole destination and therefore spawning more Taken enemies where they in the first week were not supposed to spawn. In the first week of launch, you should see the Dreaming City without any town affected by this corruption. Sounds super cool. The leak goes on to state, once you reach a week three, the taking corruption levels will be three and at its highest point. When it reaches this stage, you will be able to visit spaces inside the Dreaming City that you previously weren't able to go to. 
more things to do and find I'm guessing will be unlocked in that third week maybe activities as such you can only do on a third week upon release makes sense timed events lasting a week every third week sounds nice I can't wait people I can't wait okay so let's move on now the other day we saw a taken spell which looked great but to myself and many people it kind of looked like an image from D1 just edited a bit in that Photoshop but actually it's legit and it's tied to Zod the leak states Zod will play a big part in this quest yes there's a quest for this specific spell from what I can tell this spell has a hidden perk that has not been added to the game yet sounds intriguing people for sure maybe it will be tied to the strike with Zod maybe there's a bigger quest behind this spell which takes us to that strike which is probably the case here Okay, so moving on, and the other day I mentioned something of a new gear set called the Reverie Gear. This gear was quite interesting at the time, and the lore behind it was fascinating, but more details on this gear have been released. Now it isn't exactly said how it's acquired, but I do believe it will be the new Eververse gear, and I believe it's the same for the Titan gear set recently dated mine too, called the Scathorn Armor. Now images of these armor pieces can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check them out, they are looking great. But listen to this, there is more to this armor, things to do while wearing it, take it a listen. Complete the dungeon, the Shattered Throne, while wearing a full set of unpurified reverie armor. This tells me the armor obviously purifies and well, maybe levels up. Become Ascendant while wearing a full set of unpurified reverie dawn armor. Purify all pieces of the reverie dawn armor set. Very interesting indeed people, sounds cool for sure. And again, what is this dungeon? What is this Shad Throne? I cannot wait to find out. Okay, so moving on, and the data mine also states he has found two new exotics which have not been disclosed to us as of yet, meaning we ain't seen them in trailers or so forth. And also a new exotic quest coming, not being the Ace of Spades. Wicked. We all love those exotics people, we really do. Moving on people and Toland. Now Toland for some is a fan fave. There is plenty of lore on this dude, you probably know all but here are the basics. Toland the Shattered was a warlock sunsinger who studied the darkness and eventually went mad. Leaving the last city in exile, he was an expert on Forbidden Hive Arcany. For that reason, he was recruited by the Praxic warlock Ariana III to be a part of the Six Guardian Fire team who delved into the Hellmouth in search of Kurota. Considering only Eris came back alive, he was assumed to be dead. Though unlike the other members of the fire team, his fate was never witnessed by anyone else. Recently messages purportedly written by Toland have been discovered that indicate he yet survives in the Hive Ascendant realm. He attempts to communicate to the Guardian by unknown means as he takes a debased joy in speaking again to small human form heads. Now many think he is dead, but in actual fact I don't think he is. And although we see Toland speaking in a game informer article on the blind well seen on screen now, who is to say this isn't another one of those fragments? We don't know yet, but the data mine does indeed state that he isn't dead, but he doesn't want to spoil the part he plays in the Forsaken DLC. So take it with a pinch of salt guys, take all this information with a pinch of salt, believe what you want. But I like the data mine info, in fact nothing has yet been disproved, and to be honest, so far only things have been confirmed to be indeed factual and I also believe it to be true and so do many many others but yeah guys a massive new leak video today I hope you enjoyed it if so hitting that like button truly helps me out and if you are new around here be sure to subscribe also guys before we go every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world to be with a chance of winning it obviously make sure you're subscribed to the channel drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys Good luck to everybody who enters. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get it right.